So we've got about 10 minutes to go before the start of the race. Three, Three two, one, have a great ride. I'm gonna have a pickle. Just right, huh? Brutal. Yeah. I just wish I wasn't so tired. Race update. If I make it. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Will here from Single Track Magazine and singletrackworld.com and I am coming to you from this uh, <clears throat> very eclectic uh, 1970s kitchen here. I'm in a small house in Fruta in Colorado. Now I've been invited out to Colorado on behalf of Pivot Cycles who are launching a brand new bike. Let's take a quick look at it right now. This is the new Mach 4 SL, there we go. So this is the replacement for the existing 27.5 inch Mach 4 Carbon and the 429 SL. This is a bit of a mashup of the two. 29 inch wheels, 100 mm travel, DW Link suspension design, of course, full carbon fiber frame and two different builds. You can get them with a 100 mm or as we've got here, 120 mm travel fork. Um, now I've been riding this bike for the last couple of days here, getting it all dialed in. I've been shooting photos, doing some video, um, getting a really good feel for this bike, but the launch is not over. There is a third day to this Pivot Cycles launch. And for the third day, we're gonna be doing a race. It's part of the Epic Ride series and it's going to be in Grand Junction. Uh, the race is going to be kicking off tomorrow and racers will be able to do a 30 mile or a 40 mile option. Now me having no idea what miles actually are, I've stupidly entered the 40 mile race so we're going to see how that pans out tomorrow. We're going to be getting up quite early in the morning to shuttle from Fruta out to Grand Junction and lining up on the start line I think around 8, 8.30 in the morning and I'll be taking this bike with me. So uh, the ultimate test of this um, brand new Mach 4 SL, we'll see if it will hopefully get me from one end of the race course to the other in one piece. Um, I'm not so confident about my own fitness levels. Uh, the riding out here, so I'm told, is quite rocky and technical. We're not that far from Moab in Utah, so that might give you a bit of an idea of the kind of terrain that we're dealing with out here. But I am very much looking forward to exploring these trails. I've heard a lot of good things about them. What we've ridden for the last couple of days has been fantastic. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about that 40 mile distance and my ability to finish it. So we'll see how we go. Now I'm going to bring you guys along with me on this race, um, or perhaps I should call it ride or event. Um, I'll be participating, not racing necessarily. Uh, we'll take you guys along for the ride because uh, from all reports, it sounds like a fantastic event um, with lots on aside from just the racing itself. So strap yourself in, wish me luck. And uh, we'll see you in the morning on the start line for the Grand Junction epic ride. Hmm. Oh. Sorry, we got a stride out there. Everybody got all shapes and sizes. So it's the Friday night before the race on Saturday. And uh, this is the center of Grand Junction, and we've got a whole bunch of racing on tonight. We've got the clunker race on the moment. Check this out. <laughs> we've got loads of people racing around town. They've got uh, the streets blocked off for uh, just for this race. Um, and then we've got a fat tire dirt crit coming up, which is going to be super fast. That's going to be actually a lot of the pros racing. Uh, who will be racing on Sunday, so that's going to be really, really fast. We'll show you some of that. So this is a bit of a bit of a party night before the racing action that goes on tomorrow. Ten seconds, ladies. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Front putting some pressure on right now. The stands no to Kevin Max's rider, Rose Grant. So it's the morning of the race. We're in downtown Fruta, Colorado, heading to the main house that all the pivot people are staying at. We're about to 
get a shuttle out to Grand Junction and I think we're probably about just a little over an hour from the start of the race so the nerves the butterflies are starting to uh, to start move inside <laughs> We'll see how we go. Uh, we've got to get there first and then get on the start line with hundreds of other people as part of this event. So that'll be really exciting, I'm sure. Nerve wracking, but exciting. Good morning. Oh, that's a great bunch shot. Ready, Tyler? Yes! <laughs> So we've got about 10 minutes to go before the start of the race. Everyone's lining up here. So we've got everyone lining up in the uh, start light shoot. And then, there you go, so there's the flag there for the start. So we've got 10 minutes before we set off on 40 mile race, which I've been told works out to be about 65 kilometers. So that's probably the longest I've raced in a long time. <laughs> All right, we better get in there. 10 seconds, five, four, yeah. three. Sweet. Just on your right, mate. Just behind you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Get it. <laughs> right. Woo. Howdy. Ah, oh, cheers. 40. Woo. Thank you. All right. Race update. I'm up to something like 38 kilometers in, so over halfway, which is good. But whew, my legs are feeling hollow. Whew. So far, I've already done over a thousand meters of climbing, and I'm feeling it. Just trying to keep the water coming in, the food coming in. Oh, this long, draggy section at the moment, kind of rough fire road. Surprisingly difficult fitness wise to keep your momentum over all these rocks. <sighs> Still got a long way to go. <sighs> My legs aren't feeling too crashed. They're certainly feeling the last 60 kilometers of riding from the, from the last two days. <laughs> Probably not the best preparation before a race. <sighs> Would be great. Water? Yeah. Mm, thank you kindly. Want a snack? Need some bananas? Do you need some pickles? Oh. Oranges? I'm gonna have a pickle. That is bizarre. Oh, they're delicious. Are they? Oh, they're really good ones. They're okay. well balanced. Oh wow. Did you wash your hands? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just right, huh? These are good to take with you too. So okay. good. Welcome. Oh, good luck. Have a good one. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, Brutal. Yeah. You done this one before? First time. First time riding in this area. It's amazing. Isn't it? So good. I just wish I wasn't so tired. <laughs> Race update. Sitting around 46 kilometer mark now. So I've got just under 20 kilometers left. That's if my miles to kilometer calculations are correct. And we've done one horrible climb. We're now on another one and it's just all slick rock. 
like all this stuff. I mean, Grand Junction isn't far from Moab, and you can tell this sort of stuff is very, very similar to Moab. Oh man, I'm absolutely pooped. I don't know how I'm gonna go with this last 20 Ks. I hope I make it. I'm so tired. Beauty, thank you, sir. Thank you. Been finished I managed to cross the line and finish the race there was a pretty dark moment there where I thought I might not make it uh, somehow pulled it together maybe the gels kicked in actually it might have been the pickle that I had at the second feed station that was amazing actually I've never eaten a pickle on a mountain bike ride but I'm gonna be doing that a lot more from now on because I think that gave me the extra special powers um, came good on like the last sort of single track Descent, which was just absolutely wild. Um, so tired, so mentally fatigued. Um, the bike definitely carried me through a lot. But uh, yeah, managed to finish in four hours and 18 minutes was my time. Um, apparently, um, I won the open women's category, which is absolutely fantastic. I've never won anything like that before. So I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, but I think my time in the open male category was like top 30 or something. So I'm really, really happy with that, given how bad I felt in the middle of that set, in the middle of that race on that horrible climb, uh, which just very, very nearly broke me, both physically and mentally. That was tough. But all made up for by the amazing single track. It was properly, properly good. So uh, the riding here in Grand Junction, mind blowing, so good. Had an absolute blast. The event's great. So many people here. It's just packed out with people. And you probably saw on the video um, how many people there are out on course just cheering competitors along, um, which kind of was really good when you're that tired. It's nice to have a little bit of extra motivation to help keep you going. So yeah, the whole town's just going off with this, this mountain bike event. They've got roads closed off. There are police like guiding all the races through. Um, it's just unlike anything I've ever experienced before. So absolutely chuffed to bits that I got to be a part of it. But now I'm gonna go get my free beer with my wristband. Uh, Cause I think I earned it um, after four and four and a half hours of racing. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time we have some sort of stupid challenge where I try and wreck myself on a bike. <laughs> All right, Turu.